So, Father God, we stand in prayer today and we ask you that a powerful miracle will be released to this person's life. I pray that you move heaven and earth on behalf of this person that is in desperate need of a miracle. Dear God, you know how desperate this person is for a miracle. I join my faith with this person and we ask you that you change their situation for the glory of your name. Father God, I join my faith with this person's faith and together we stand in prayer asking you that you change their situation. Father, I pray for this person that is in need of inner peace. I know that I'm praying with people or God that they have no peace in the inside. I pray for the peace that surpasses all understanding. I rebuke all chaos that is present right now in this person's life. I pray, Father God, that you uproot all this turmoil from the inside. And I pray that you give this person peace the peace that the world cannot offer to this person the peace that comes from heaven the peace of christ i release the peace where there's turmoil where there's confusion where there's chaos i say leave this person now i declare the anointing of god coming upon this person to uproot all turmoil in Jesus name and I pray for the peace of Christ in Jesus mighty name also I pray Lord God for this person that is in need of mental clarity father God I pray that you touch this person right now in the realm of the mind father God I rebuke in the name of Jesus all mental turmoil all mental fatigue all confusion everything that is affecting this person in the realm of the mind is stealing their joy and their peace father god i rebuke confusion i rebuke everything that is affecting this person in the realm of the mind and i declare peace of mind father god i pray let this person or god come into a place of mental clarity i pray father god for direction i pray father god that you show this person the way i pray father god for confidence and for peace in jesus name also i pray for those who are in need of deliverance i pray father god that you deliver this person whatever it is that this person is in need of a breakthrough of a deliverance father god i pray that you break every yoke of bondage I pray that you set this person free. I pray, Father God, that every chain that keep this person in bondage, I say, be broken in Jesus' name. I pray, dear God, that you touch this person today and that you break every shackle because your word declares that if the Son set you free, you shall be free indeed. And so I pray, Father God, for freedom. I pray, Lord God, that you bring deliverance and wholeness to this person. I pray God Almighty, let this person experience freedom. Let this person come into a place of complete deliverance for the glory of your name. Also, I pray for those who are in need of healing. I pray, Lord God, for those who are in need of emotional healing, those who are in need of mental healing, those who are in need of physical healing father god i pray that you touch this person right now i pray for a special anointing lord god to touch this person from head to toe i pray father god that you bring their bodies into full alignment lord god with your will i pray god almighty heal this person restore this person lord god every area concerning this person's life that they need a healing i pray god almighty heal your people 
bring deliverance and wholeness to their lives for the glory of your name. Also, I pray for those who are in need of family restoration. I pray, Father God, restore this precious family. I pray, Father God, that everything that is uh, causing division, every spirit of confusion, every lack of communication, everything that is dividing this family, we break in the name of Jesus and we release the love of Christ. I pray, Father God, bring this family under the covenant of love and peace. I pray, Father God, that you break the walls of division, everything that the enemy is trying to to divide and to separate we say no we plead the blood of Jesus we rebuke Satan and his demons and we say leave this family I pray that you bring this family together I bless this family and I declare restoration I declare redemption in Jesus name also I pray for marriage unity I pray for this marriage that you heal this marriage I pray that you touch this husband that you touch this wife I pray that you heal, that you restore this marriage. I break the assignment of divorce, the assignment of separation, the assignment of betrayal, infidelity. We say broken in the name of Jesus. Every intention of the enemy concerning this marriage, we say broken in the name of Jesus. Every evil assignment to split and to destroy this marriage, we rebuke in the name of Jesus. Also, I pray, Father God, for this couple that wants to conceive a child. I speak a child in the womb in the name of Jesus. I speak a life to the womb. I speak a miracle in the womb in the name of Jesus. Also, I pray, Lord God, for this person's future spouse. I pray for the single ones, those who are praying, those who are believing you, God, to find a godly spouse. Father God, I pray that to break the cycle of delay, the cycle of singleness, of finding only wrong people, people that only comes into their lives, Lord God, to mess them up. Father, I rebuke in Jesus' name. We break every cycle, Lord God, of singleness. We rebuke in Jesus' name. And we ask you, Lord God, this year that you bless this person to find a godly spouse. Lord God, your word says that it's not good for a man to be alone. Alone. Lord God, I pray, bless this man, bless this woman with a godly, with an amazing spouse. And I pray, Lord God, that you shine your light and that you expose all the fakes, expose, Lord God, all uh, uh, fake people that will try to come on their way. I pray, Father God, that you keep wrong people away from them and that you bring godly people into their path, godly people into their lives that will be a blessing to them in your precious name. Also, I pray for their financial success. I pray, Father God, that you open doors, doors of provision, doors of increase, doors of blessings. I pray for their career. I pray for their finances. I pray, Father God, bless them. Open doors. I pray for miracles, even in times of crisis. I pray that this person will experience breakthroughs, Lord God, for the glory of your name. I pray, Father God, that you bless them in the workplace. I pray for favor, and I pray, Lord God, for powerful doors to be open for them, for connections in the workplace that will take this person from where they are into their next level. I declare and I decree in Jesus' name that every retaliation, every jealousy, everything, Lord God, in the workplace, Lord God, that needs to be put in order. I pray, Father God, that you put in order, that you align this person, Lord God, for their breakthrough. I pray, position them, place the right people in their path, in Jesus' name. I bless them and I declare that no evil shall prevail against them in the workplace. Also, I pray for those who are in need of a new job, 
a high paying job i pray lord god for those who lost their job and they're right now looking for a job i pray father god that you lead them by the holy spirit i pray that you show them the way i pray father god that you bless them to find a high paying job a good job lord god i bless them and i declare miracles coming on their way i declare phone calls coming i declare lord god that their resume will be found by the right people in jesus name i bless them and i bless them for the glory of your name if you receive my brother and my sister repeat this prayer after me say lord jesus i thank you so much for my miracle i receive my miracle today for the glory of your name I ask you that you empower me, that you strengthen me, that you help me to walk in my destiny, to walk in my purpose. Say, Lord Jesus, show me the way and fill me with the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen.